In the 3D world, reverse engineering is the process of recreating CAD data from an existing product in order to duplicate it, improve it, or create complementary objects. Reverse engineering is necessary when the original CAD data is unavailable. Our tech 3D scanners make this process much quicker. Let's say we want to duplicate this metal bracket, but we do not have access to the original files. We could take physical measurements, but this could be very time consuming and is prone to errors. Using an Artec scanner, I can create a complete 3D scan of the bracket and process it in about 10 minutes. Here I have Artec Studio. Um, I've used an Artec EVA 3D scanner to scan the bracket that I just showed you. And I, um, what we're looking at right now is the finished mesh model. Um, overall, this took about 10 minutes, which included scan time, uh, post-processing of the four scans that I, that I created and the alignment of those and then fusing them together to create the duplicate of the bracket that we scanned. I can now export this into the CAD program of my choice. In this case, I'm going to use SpaceClaim. And uh, I will be able to go through these steps of pulling data from this scan. I'm going to walk you through that. And basically what we're going to do is um, create planes that intersect the model and use that to recreate our data. So I just need a couple of planes here to intersect right down the middle to get all these angles. All right, now I'm going to select my planes and SpaceClaim has an extract curve function that looks at the intersections of the planes and the model and pulls out curved data from it. Very, very quick and simple to use. All right, so I can hide that. Uh, next, I'm going to do a fit curves function, which basically gives me a nice, clean um, curve to work with, whereas, you know, you have a bunch of smaller pieces here. It's going to help um, make this easier to work with. So I'm just uh, fit curves for all of these, just using the default settings, accuracy settings on, on here for now for um, demo purposes. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can come in and I'm going to fill each of these to create a surface. Uh, I don't need to fill that one. Okay. Now that I have my surfaces, I can hide the curves, and then I'm going to pull on each of these faces, extrude the surfaces to recreate the shape of my original model. And this piece had a lot of hand ground corners and some welding um, welding joints and stuff that we are not concerned with um, recreating. We want nice sharp edges on this. All right, so there we have the basic model. Oh, I need to cut this out. Okay, so now what we have left is this curve here. Um, so I'm going to bring my curves back up, hide this solid. Then I'm going to sketch right here. There we go. And I'm going to just recreate a shape that will let me cut this out. OK, so now I have this shape. Again, I'm not concerned with some of these edges just because this, I know for a fact that this original model was hand ground in certain places. So we're just trying to get that same angle. All right, so I can hide my curves again. And I'm going to use this to subtract the corner here. There we go. Get rid of my surface. And there we have a surface model that is now much easier to work with than a mesh file. Again, we can, we can modify it in any way that we want. Um, you know, say we want another, say we want a hole over here or something. 
we can just do a quick sketch and now we have you know, additional features that we need. And that is the basic reverse engineering process. There are many programs that can be used to translate mesh data into a CAD surface file. I use SpaceClaim in this example, but other commonly used programs are Leos and Geomagic Design X. Contact ScanSource 3D for more information about 3D scanning and reverse engineering with Artex.